guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today, because I'm still sick, we're doing a crap video. Uh, we're doing Headless Horseman. Sorry, guys. And, yeah, there's a DPS making a sandwich. Come on, buddy. Um, the Headless Horseman dungeon is definitely easy. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Headless Horseman dungeon is definitely an easy one. Um, the uh, mechanics are really simple. Um, there isn't a lot of extra stuff really to worry about. Um, I'm healing this time, so I'm not going to be doing any damage. I'm just going to heal, and then I can talk you guys through it. So what you're going to do... I'm just going to buff everybody. Um, what you're going to do is uh, run to the middle of what is now Scarlet Monastery. And someone, ideally the tank, will click the pumpkin shrine. And whoever clicks the shrine will be attacked first. So ideally you want the tank to do it, which... Your search is done. Didn't. Oh no, it did happen. Okay, good. Um, so he'll run around and he'll say these really stupid things and blah blah blah. Um, so the first thing you do, uh, essentially the first phase, there's three phases, the first phase is a tank and spank. So all you're gonna do is just damage him. He's already down to 60%, down to 50. Um, you're just gonna damage him until he gets to 1%. And then his head's gonna fall off. Or his head's gonna get somewhere, I don't even know. Um, but as soon as he gets to 1%, his head's gonna detach, and there's his head, and we need, he'll, the Headless Horseman will start healing himself, and we need to get the head to 60%. So you can kind of see, okay, and then it connects again, this is phase 2. And he essentially, again, you want to get him down to about 1%, and now he does an extra move. Aside from cleave, he does, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, okay, fiery cleave, so he does this little rain of fire move, essentially. Why are you? Oh, we should probably pay more attention. Oh, and I can pay more attention, so I got hit by it, so you get disoriented. So it's like, it's like pop flag. And then his head detaches again, while he heals himself, and you want to get him to 30%. And then finally at the end, um... As soon as you kill the head, there you get the head to 30%, which doesn't take long. Um, he will start um, doing these pulsing pumpkins. Now, right now, because they didn't max him out to uh, a super high, um, these guys don't really matter too much. But usually, what you would do is you would try and attack these because these guys can cause a lot of damage. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. So now, and then, the head will attach again, kill the head, and you're all done. Um, and what can drop in the pumpkin? Um, there will be... He Im the boss himself will drop um, a ring. And if you have... Because it's 470, they didn't, up the, they didn't up the item level, so this is pretty much useless. So I'm just going to greet that. <coughs> um, assume, assuming you don't... Uh, you haven't been doing dungeons. Otherwise... You're probably, it's probably a good upgrade for you. Um, and then the pumpkin, there's a sword that can drop, and of course the mount. Um, I, I didn't get anything special, I got some tricky treats, and I got, oh goody, a goblin mail mask. So I'm going to destroy that. Um, and some justice points, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, again, please, please, please give me ideas for videos down below. I am really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Um, I have a couple ideas for some longer ones, but I'm going to need some extra people to help me out, so I'm working on my fiancé and my friends, and hopefully we'll get a free night in here somewhere, but wedding is exactly a month away, so I'm, uh, it's kind of crunch time. Anyway, hope you found that helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.